of flying cars. Been told we'd have flying cars for a long time. And obviously this is going to be talking about electric vehicle takeoff and landing vehicles. Essentially, you could think of like a drone that, or a quadcopter, which is essentially how all of these are sort of designed, except these have a lot more propellers. And it's a little more sophisticated because obviously it has to be able to carry a person. One of the things about this is they don't really talk about how much weight one of these can carry. Anyways, we've got a company that's got a product called the Helix, which is a single seat vehicle, essentially like a flying motorcycle might be a more accurate description. It's being made by a company called Pivotal, which is based in Silicon Valley, and it's classified as a micro light aircraft. It means anyone, pilot's license or not, can fly it over non built up areas. So you could own one of these, you couldn't take it to the office necessarily, but you could fly it out on the farm kind of thing. It's going to be approximately $190,000 to buy, be able to buy one of these for personal use. And they're anticipating delivery time of approximately June. Pivotal was originally known as Opener until October when the Helix was announced. They've been doing this since 2011. And this is where they've just kind of ended up. Originally, it was called the Black Fly. They've been working together to put something. Looks like they're talking 12 years total to be able to put this vehicle together and make something that a consumer could use and fly around. This aircraft hasn't changed a whole lot over the years, but I'm under the impression that maybe the motors have gotten to get a little better and a few other things. The top speed is about 100 kilometers. That's 62 miles per hour for those of us in the United States. It has a range of about 30 kilometers, which isn't very exciting. That's about 18 and a half miles. So it's not going to go very far. Under regular household charger, it takes about four and a half hours to charge it up. You could probably get it pretty quick with a standard no, level two car charger. You'd probably definitely charge it a whole lot faster but i thought that was kind of fascinating to see that that is coming around the corner hi i'm david with ev world news if you like this video then please press the like button if you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles then please hit the subscribe button if you have some feedback for us please let us know in the comments have a great day